Hi, I'm Fox. And I'm Braggable. And this is PS3 Hacking, Hacking Episode two. 2. Yes, and we're installing Linux today in a loud echo. Echo. That's why we were being somber. We're taping this in the Two Smart Guys studio. Studio. First so. real-ish studio. Yeah, it's a garage. But I spent three years making it with the entire point to make it into a studio. Into a studio. So. We got a nice big green screen. We can stretch out our arms, and we can actually run across Look, it. If we no wanted. cropping, mom. <laughs> hey, I digress. We're installing Linux on yes. the PS3 today. <laughs> it's it's something that's been around for a while, yeah, but I for mean, those of you who uh, haven't you know, Sony tried this, Sony supports it. You can install mm -hmm. emulators on it. You can do whatever you want. Yes. You can have BitTorrent clients, yeah. video stuff. Um, although it's it's uh, a virtual machine inside of the PS3. I wasn't aware of that. So you don't have direct access, access to the, the GPU. hardware or anything. Yeah. Huh? So it's not. So that's the real hack one day is to yeah. actually bypass that virtual machine. But we're going to show you today hardware access layer. How to install Linux Ubuntu on the PS3 and SNES 9X. And you can play uh, um, video games and how to install the Bluetooth driver. Just make a general purpose computer out of your PS3. Yeah. All right, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need a blank CD. You're gonna need to download the Ubuntu 8.10 PS3 install disk image. There's a link on our show notes at twosmartguys.com. A USB hard drive or large flash memory stick to back up all your PS3 data. A USB keyboard and mouse. The Ubuntu operating system is considered an alternate OS on the PS3. So it's going to require that you format your PS3 hard drive in order to make your system dual boot. Uh, you want to go to Games, Trophy Collection, press the triangle and choose Sync with Server. That'll sync all your trophies up with the server. And then you'll need to connect your external USB device going to System Settings, Backup Utility, choose to Backup, and then go to the, your selected USB disk. It'll put everything in a folder, PS3 Export backup. It'll take about a half hour or so depending on, depending on how full your hard drive is. When you're done installing Ubuntu, uh, for the first time you switch back to the XMB, you'll want to use the backup utility to restore the backup that you just backed up. Alright, so this is going to erase everything on your PS3, so make sure you have everything backed up. You need to go to Settings, System Settings, Format Utility, Format the Hard Disk. And here you'll go ahead and choose yes, choose custom. All you really need is 10 gigs for the other OS. And then just choose quick format. Now your PS3 is going to create two partitions, one for the XMB and the other one for the other OS, in this case Ubuntu. Once it's done formatting, it'll prompt you to restart. Just go ahead and press X on the controller and your system should reboot. After you have your drive all backed up, reformatted, you can start installing Ubuntu. Just go ahead and download and burn the ISO from our website for the Ubuntu PS3 install. Insert the CD into your PS3, go to Settings, System Settings, Install Other OS, and this will install the Dual Boot Loader K-Boot in just a matter of seconds. It'll ask if you want to restart into the other OS. Make sure your PS3 is connected to the web through the Ethernet and also plug in your USB keyboard and mouse. All right, for the installation of Ubuntu, it's pretty simple. You just go ahead and follow all the command prompts. Uh, pretty much everything's fine as a default. Settings. There's plenty of tutorials out on the internet on installing Ubuntu. There's, there's not much to this. Just go ahead and go with all the, the default settings. This whole process should take you about 45 minutes. When it's done, go ahead and remove the install disk, and you should boot right up into Ubuntu. All right, so we're going to go ahead and install SNES 9 Express. So just go to your package manager and just do a search for SNES, and you can install that. It's pretty straightforward. If you want to load any ROMs up, just put them on a USB stick and plug them into your PS3. Uh, right away you can start playing with your USB keyboard, although what I recommend is 
downloading the six access um, Bluetooth package that's available on our website inside of there there'll be two packages inside the blue six access bin powerpc.deb and then the blue six access rc1.1 all.db now turn off your six access controller go to applications accessories six access gui in the ubuntu and start the app choose setup menu and then set up first connection don't press the ps3 button until it tells you to the light will keep blinking even after it's connected after that's done you can connect this or any other controller simply by going to the connect six access to the pc under the task menu in order to use this with your snes emulator you need to do one more thing under task menu choose enable keyboard and mouse and then pick fake joystick this will pair your controller as a Linux joystick. After that, you have to disconnect. This will power off your 6 access and then reconnect your controller. Inside of SNES 9X, you'll need to change the settings for the controller. So press devices, go to TypePad 1, change from dev forward slash JS0 to forward slash dev forward slash input forward slash JS0 and do the same thing for pad 2 if you plan on using two 6-axis controllers. Then you'll be able to load up your ROM and use the 6-axis controller wirelessly with your PS3 on Ubuntu Linux. If you ever want to use your PS3 again as a regular game machine, you'll need to load up the kboot prompt and type in boot-game-os and this will reboot your PS3 back to the XMB where you can play normal games and you can just simply launch the other OS to go back into to Ubuntu. There's also other hacks that will allow you to just make this a menu option inside of Ubuntu or so that the shutdown function in Ubuntu will reboot into the PS3. There you have it. You can play uh, Super Mario World on your PS3. Or just browse the web. Nintendo probably loves There's that. network support, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, browse the web. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, we'll flash the part, but I guess you already have that on the PS3. There's, I don't know. There, you can, you can do Linux stuff. <laughs> it's uh, fun to mess around. With. Yeah, it's fun to mess around with. It's cool to think that your console is running Linux or is running a computer or and is at, essentially. A computer. I don't know if we'll do this again because it was pretty useless, but we were actually running Windows XP on it. <laughs> It we was, tried to run it. It was dog slow. We had 98 working smooth as silk. That's right. Uh, like but if you're XP. running Windows 98 on a 486. But uh, <laughs> XP, we, we finally got it to go, but it was just, it was bad. There's only 256 megs of RAM on the PS3, so it was, it was rough. <laughs> and it's, I mean, it's still emulated. Yeah. It, and it's not very optimized. It's a ported emulator. Because the PS3 is a, a power PC. Yes. And several power PCs. Yes. It's actually really awesome. It's got six 3.2 co gig cores and it could be an awesome machine. <laughs> anyways. Oh, anyways, you can use that horsepower for um, lots of things. There's people who have been using distributed networking and, and making like these server rooms full of them and they're pretty cheap for a lot of gigahertz processing power. Not a lot of memory. Several hundred dollars for the six cores of, what was the processor speed? 3.2 gigahertz, Two six gigahertz. cores six. for, was it 300 bucks now? Three, four hundred 400 bucks? That is some cheap computing power. Yeah. Huh. Anyways. Yeah, so anyway. <laughs> we digress. Yes, uh, stay tuned at twosmartguys.com for more episodes. Yes. And uh, subscribe, subscribe to the feed. Subscribe to the feed. Twosmartguys.com slash feed. And will automatically be delivered to your RSS reader or thingy, you know, iTunes, whatever. YouTube. Uh, <laughs> Mevio, Rubber, Wizard, all that jazz. <laughs> Too many to name. And if we were um, not very thorough, there's help at uh, our forums. There's slash forums. Yes, there's lots of people on there who will help you out. Uh, 
Follow me on Twitter. I'm slash walking crow. I'll give you updates on when we're doing episodes and things. At and one in the morning? Yeah. We should be quicking this. I'm, I'm Pox. I'm quick. I don't have quick <laughs> installed. All right. See you guys next time. Night. Day. <laughs> This has been a Two Smart Guys production.